This is my Kemper Profiler backup. I have two of them. My main unit, I bought them when they first came out, and I've been using it for that long, two, three years. No problems whatsoever. This is my backup that I purchased, just in case something would happen to my first one. Never has, so I do not need this unit. I just need to keep my real one. Okay, this one is powered right now by a Crown D75 and Bridge Mono, which is only 75 watts. Uh, actually, with the 16-ohm cabinet, Marshall, with uh, 80s JCM 800, it's only about 35 watts, plenty of power for doing live performances. But at any rate, I'll run you through some. There's over 200, 2 to 300 profiles in here, some bought, some just downloaded from their site, some that I manufactured myself. This is one. This is just a plain, old, straight-up, old-style plexi sound. And we'll just run through, through some of it. I'm playing through a Stratocaster 1984 with APC humbucker in the rear and single coil, stock single coils in the front. Just to give you an idea. Front pickup. Lightly picking. As you can see, it clicked. I didn't touch the volume. I just switched to the single coil and picked lighter, and it just cleans right up. I mean, this thing is just phenomenal. You can set up any tube sag you want. Anyway. Okay, right here would be, I would switch to the same program, but juiced up with some effects for my solo. Okay, right here we have a, uh, a 12 string that I put together. There's all kinds of programs in here. Um, this is one that I use on a song with. It's got a lot of reverb and uh, some stuff coming in here. PT-50. This is just a straight up uh, Marshall 
sound. <laughs> Same sound, but just juiced up a little bit for uh, soloing. pitch shifter on it, um, that Pat Traversy type sound. <laughs> So anyway, you can see this thing works perfectly, and that's just a crown, like I said, 35 watts. I will put another video up here in a minute with, I also have the Carver Tube 100 tube amplifier, and we'll see that. 